And welcome to Upon Further Review. I'm Josh Aubrey. Plenty to get to in this week's show. The Georgia Southern men finding home sweet home once again. The Eagles picked up their first victory of the season at home, won one game on the road. They've been on the road for the past couple weeks. Then this past week, Thursday and Saturday, two big victories for the Eagles who improved to 4-3 and three in conference play. They knocked off Coastal Carolina in a close game on Thursday and turned around and blew out Georgia State on Saturday. The news not as good for the women who went on the road and dropped a pair of games. They are now 3-4 and four in conference play. They'll be returning home for a Wednesday. Saturday turnaround, 6 o'clock on Wednesday, and a game on Saturday at 2 o'clock against Marshall. Uh, as for the um, area high school basketball, we had a Three big games for the Portal Panthers this week. Two at home, one on the road. The big road game coming against Jenkins County, who is ranked seventh in the state. The Panthers, number two. They were able to win that game. The girls were leading late in the game and ended up losing 34-32. to The guys won all three of their games this past week. We'll send you out for highlights of those games, as well as Southeast Bullock with a big victory at home in a region matchup against Wayne County. All that and more coming up. On upon further review. Reminder before we go to break, hopefully you never be in an accident, but if so, please give our friends at the Sullivan Law Firm a call, 912-489-8888 or online at thesullivanlawfirm.com. Cook's Pharmacy, located on Highway 80 East, is family owned and operated by Lynn and Janie McCook, as well as their son, Josh McCook. Serving the Bullock County area since 2005, McCook's Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service where the customers come first. Vaccinations are available including shingles, flu, pneumonia, and Tdap. drive through service is available with two drive through windows for your convenience. McCook's Pharmacy offers free local deliveries and new customers are always welcome. Continuing the tradition of our family, caring for your family, McCook's Pharmacy, Highway 80 East. Eagles spirit and style are a priority around here, and that's why the University Store, the official outfitter of Georgia Southern, offers everything you need to be game day ready. The University Store carries the largest inventory of licensed Georgia Southern apparel, accessories, and spirited merchandise. Show your spirit with tents, flags, and chairs. Show your style with polos, hats, dresses, and jerseys. Visit us in-store at our stadium shops or online at gsustore.com. Show your spirit from tailgate to touchdown with the University Store today. Well, the Georgia Southern Eagles with a pair of games on Thursday and Saturday at home. The men have not been home in quite a while. They had three straight uh, games on the road. Came back to the friendly confines of Hanner for a pair of victories, a close one against Coastal on Thursday. And then they took care of business and blew out Georgia State on Saturday. The Georgia Southern fans, happy to see the Eagles back home at Hanner hosting Coastal Carolina. Tyron Moore driving and he'll get the friendly roll here next we go outside where aaron banks drills the three-pointer back inside we go and it's colin cool hitting for two the eagles up by one coastal comes back to take the lead on this hook shot by jenica ojiko but the eagles storm back aaron banks loads up and hits another three and then Tyron Moore driving hard to the bucket. Kisses this one off the glass. Nate Bradford showing he's got some moves. Driving in with his left hand and finishing. And then it's Aaron Banks once again living up to his name with the bank. He finished the way leading with 19 points. Banks continuing to have success driving in here. He gets two more to fall. The Eagles up by one at the half. We move ahead to the second half. Coastal comes back to take a lead, but the Eagles proved to be too much. Two more for more. He had 17, and Georgia Southern wins 73-70. to We move ahead to Saturday, and the in-state rivalry between Georgia Southern and Georgia State renewed. The Eagles start off from outside. Cam Bryant, three of his 19 points. Tyron Moore likes what he sees left alone from deep. 
And then a save, and even Avante Parker gets in on the three-point action. Southern with 17 threes in the game. Georgia State fights back. Tie things up, but the Eagles then go on a run. Malik Tidwell with the corner three. And then from way downtown up top, it's Jamar Franklin for three. Nate Bradford off the mark, but the rebound and put back by Parker, who'd have 15 points and nine boards. Nice pick and roll here, and he throws it down. Bradford then, the corner three. Cam Bryant helping to close the half in style from where else? Behind the stripe. Southern up 43-31 to 31 at the half. Trucking on over to the second half. More of the same. Eugene Brown from long range. The Eagles up by 12. Then a nice backdoor pass. And Cam Bryant, two more. Tyron Moore driving in and hitting this one off the glass. He had 15 points. And finally, Moore, the step back three as the Eagles improved to four and three in conference play, winning 86 to 70. Well, next up for the guys, they'll be on the road for a pair of games. The women coming back to Hanner. Wednesday, they'll be playing at 6 o'clock at Hanner Field House, and then on Saturday, they'll be playing at 2 o'clock against Marshall, the uh, Wednesday game against Georgia State. All right, stay with us. High school action coming up next. There's a time for playing it safe and a time for whiskey business. Located on the corner of Highway 80 and East Main Street, Whiskey Business has one of the largest selections of bourbons, as well as an allocated selection of bourbons and top shelf liquors. Featuring the coldest walk-in beer cave around, a great selection of IPA and craft beers, as well as domestics. They also sell ice, mixers, champagne, wine with all your favorite brands. Whiskey Business also has a fully stocked cigar room with humidors, cigar cutters, torches, and other accessories featuring brands like Man of War, Buffalo Trace, Macanudo, and Rocky Patel. Open Monday through Wednesday, 9 to 9 p.m., Thursday through Saturday, 9 till 10 p.m. Stop by and see them today. Davis, you're in. You tired of being on the sidelines? Let's get you in the game. G-A-T-A, -A. get after those assets. area high school basketball teams in the middle of their region schedules. The Portal Panthers had a couple important games at home and then they had one on the road. They are trying to take care of business against Vidalia, the team that they own, the only team that they've lost to this year and they took care of business in that one. Uh, they also played McIntosh County Academy for a region matchup at home and then went on the road for a top 10 showdown. Number two Portal at number seven, Jenkins County. Let's send you out for all three of those games. The Portal Panthers hosting Vidalia after losing by 50 points a week ago. Portal coming back. Angel Cone down low for two. Then Glenn Lowe driving in and getting this one off the friendly roll. Back to Angel Cone we go. Coming up with a nice pass here inside. She gets this to fall. And then London Blackman. Off the break, but Vidalia proving to be too much as they pull away late and win 54 to 39. To the boys' game we go, looking to avenge their lone loss of the season. And we start things off inside. Amir Jackson bangs this one off the glass for two. Then Marion Trimble, the pull up two. Jackson then. Nice spin move. Gets this one to go. Next up, Joseph Thomas off the break. Nice pass from Elijah Coleman. Marion Trimble again. He gets the hoop and the foul. We go outside here, and David Thomas from up top hits the three-pointer. Then Joseph Thomas finds K.J. Hunter inside. Portal up by 13. And off the break, 
Joseph Thomas throwing down the dunk. Amir Jackson then to Hunter inside for two more. Portal up by 14 at the half. Second half, Joseph Thomas ahead of the pack, two of his 20. Thomas then hits for three more. David Thomas then in the corner. Nothing but net. Whatever his brother can do, Joseph tries the same thing. Yep, he hits for three. Finally, David coming up with two more. And Portal wins 64 to 55. Next up, Portal hosting McIntosh County Academy. Ladies first. In control, Glenn Lowe. She gets this one to go. Then Tierra Kingsbury off the rebound. Gets the putback. Rashonda Khalil, the hoop and one. McIntosh would make a run. But the Lady Panthers answering. Kaylin King inside off the nice pass. And finally, two more and a foul for Khalil as Portal wins 48-36. to To the boys game we go. Looking to remain unbeaten in region play. And Joseph Thomas starts us off with a long two. K.J. Hunter, the rebound and the putback. Then a nice look inside from Amir Jackson to Hunter for two more. He'd finish with 19 points. Later off the break, Jackson to David Thomas. The one-handed jam. McIntosh able to keep it close for a while. Hitting the three and then the layup. But even when they score here, take a look. Amir Jackson playing quarterback, hitting Elijah Coleman for the easy two. David Thomas then driving in for the hoop and the foul. Coleman spotting up, knocking down the three. Jackson driving and finishing with the left hand. Then it's Jackson from about the free throw line. And then Jackson drives, and he'll look inside to K.J. Hunter once again, and they'd roll 57-44. To Jenkins County, we go the Portal Girls building a 10-point lead with three minutes left in the game, but Jenkins catches fire to Leia Milton for three, and then Shania Lake, the steal, and the bucket, and Jenkins County wins 34 to 32. The number two ranked Portal Panthers traveling to Millen to take on number seven ranked Jenkins County before a packed house. The Eagles coming out on fire, everything falling their way. James Allen banks this one in a little bit later from way downtown. ZZ Wilson with the long three, but Portal, after being down by 14 to two, comes back. Amir Jackson, the hoop and one. Joseph Thomas, the pull-up jumper from just inside the stripe. And then it's Jackson sprinting past the defense. They go on a 19-2 run to take a five-point lead. Marion Trimble gets the two to fall inside. And then it's Jackson shooting over the defense for two more. David Thomas driving baseline and getting this one to fall. And then on the break, Elijah Coleman with the layup. Portal up 29-21 at the half. Second half, and Jenkins County storms back to go on an 8-0 run to open the half. Wilson with the two, and then Portal coming right back. Joseph Thomas for three. Wilson then hits another long rainbow three to keep them within striking distance, but Portal going on a run themselves. David Thomas for two. Then Joseph Thomas drives in for the hoop and the foul. Portal up by six. K.J. Hunter playing some big minutes off the bench. He fights for the rebound for two. And then Hunter comes up with the steal, the bucket, and the foul. Portal up by seven. 
David Thomas in the corner buries the three. And finally, it's Elijah Coleman off the break as Portal goes on to win 59 to 56. Well, the Statesboro Blue Devils are able to take care of business on the road at Ware County for the guys. The boys and the girls lost at Bradwell. The girls lost um, at Ware County. The guys were able to come up with a victory. They've been on the road for a while. They come home Tuesday for a region matchup with the girls beginning at 6 and the boys at 7.30. As for the Southeast Bullock Yellow Jackets, they picked up a big, a big victory over Wayne County on the boys' side of things. The girls, not as fortunate. Let's send you out for highlights of that game. The Southeast Bullock Yellow Jackets hosting Wayne County. Ladies first and the other Yellow Jackets in control. Taylor Ward for three and then Ward off the break, goes all the way in for the layup, and they'd go on to win 64 to 30. To the boys game we go, and this one was all Southeast Bullock from the opening tip off. Take a look here, nice play. Zach Wells goes in. Then it's Wells on the break. Driving for two more. More from Wells, the up and under move here. Nice one. Brendan O'Dowd then left alone up top, and he buries the three. Wayne County tries to come back from outside, but Southeast Bullock in command throughout. Christian Lynn on the break, able to finish. Zach Wells then. Hits for three. He'd finish with 30 points and only three quarters of play. Wells then drives in. Hits for two more. And finally, it's Lennon on the break going all the way in. And Southeast Bullock rolls 77 to 46. And that'll wrap it up for this week's show. We thank you for joining us. Hope to see you again next week.